What's going on YouTube? My name is Darian. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love looking good and smelling amazing. Today's video is going to be about some of my top performing fragrances in my collection. The fragrances that we have deemed and termed in the fragrance community beast mode performing fragrances. I'm going to talk to you guys today. I just mentioned eight fragrances that give me great performance on my skin. As now is customary on my channel, I'm going to start off by giving my subscriber spotlight and the subscriber spotlight today goes to drum roll Fabian Awanye. Fabian's comment said another dope video as usual you are definitely one that inspires me the fashion fragrance combo definitely needs a voice like yours can't wait Fabian thank you so much for the kind words um, as I articulated in my last video, I'm going to be kind of venturing a little bit into the, to the fashion stuff. Just some fashion tips uh, for my followers because I truly believe that, you know, to maximize uh, fragrances, the fragrances you wear, maybe the compliment factor, the effect that it has on other people, and just your own self-confidence, I believe that, you know, there are some things that go along with just wearing a fragrance, like the way you present yourself. So some fashion tips will be uh, forthcoming on the channel. But again, Fabian, thank you for... Your, your kind words, and as is customary now, I'm gonna put two in the air. Uh, Fabian, that was for you. Okay, guys, so if you wanna know what my, what, what, well, at least eight of my top performing fragrances are in my collection, you know how we do, you know how we get down, keep it locked right here. Okay guys, I'm back. Thank you so much for staying tuned in. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the list. These are not in any particular order in reference to performers. They all perform well. And when I say good performers, I'm talking these fragrances are hitting that 8.5, 9, 10 hour mark. So they pass the, the 7 to 8 hour mark, which you usually want out of, out of a fragrance to give you at least a full work, uh, a work day worth of performance. So these fragrances start to teeter past that 8 hour mark. So, not in any particular order, but we'll start the list off with a, fra a fragrance from the house of Versace. Uh, honestly, this is not one of my favorite fragrances, but I do wear it from time to time. I do enjoy it. Again, not one of my favorites, but it performed like a monster. This is Versace Eros. If you guys remember my video, uh, I shot a video uh, and I had Eros Flame. I prefer Eros Flame a little bit over this one, but this one is the performance beast. Uh, two or three sprays of this, you're good to go. Again, this one pushes that eight and a half, nine hour mark for me. Uh, for, with the mint and that kind of combo that it has in here, it can be a little obnoxious sometimes. So I preserve this for maybe when I'm going to hang out. Uh, but again, it's an awesome performing fragrance from the house of Versace. This is Versace Eros. The next fragrance is a Jerjoff fragrance from the house of Jerjoff. This is Castamarati 1888. This one you probably wouldn't think based on the note breakdown that it would get great, great performance, but this one really does perform well on my skin. The fragrance kind of features some floral notes and then it has some, some little bit more resonance qualities to it. Just a very unique blend of notes, but I get great performance out of this one as well from the House of Jerjoff. This is 1888. The next fragrance on this list is from the House of Parfums de Marley, and this one is Ouajan. I love Wajan. It kind of has that apple pie vibe similar to what you would get from uh, Paco Rabanne 1 million uh, Privé. Very similar vibe. Uh, this one a little bit more spicy, a little bit more resins on the bottom and on the base of this, but I absolutely love this fragrance. And again, this is one that lasts all day long on my skin. I don't get, a ris I don't get rid of this one until I actually have to go and wash it off. But again, it sticks around all day long and I don't mind is sticking around so long because I love the way it smells. From the House of Parfums de Marley, this is Wajan. The next fragrance I want to talk about is from the Parfums Vintage House. This is Pineapple Vintage. I think this was one of the first releases from, from that house. Again, this is uh, one of the better Aventus clones that I smell. Honestly, this one is, is a little bit more complimented than Aventus for me. Just being quite honest, this has, of course, uh, a more I would say a batch of Aventus that will have more of the pineapple in it. This is what this kind of resembles to me, but it's a great fragrance. I get, again, a lot of compliments. I do get quite a bit of wear out of it. 
but it lasts a long time on my skin. Something about this really vibes well for my body chemistry. So that's why I made the list from the House of Parfums Vintage. This is Pineapple Vintage. The next fragrance on my list needs no introduction as it relates to being a beastly performing fragrance from the House of Amouage. This is the Blue Beast. This is Interlude Man. <laughs> Interlude Man lasts all day long, literally. Um, you spray this one on, two, three sprays, three may be pushing it, but this thing lasts all day long. I love it because it's very, very smoky and leathery. Uh, there's like uh, this kind of uh, oregano note up top. Beautiful fragrance. It really dries down to a really kind of sweet resinous thing, but love this stuff. Lasts all day long on my skin again. Um, I think it's uh, Renee uh, named this uh, fragrance the Blue Beast because of the performance. So beast, nonetheless, from the house of Amwise, this is the Blue Beast. This next fragrance is from the house of Prada, and this is Prada Loam Intense. I love Prada Loam, it's a great office fragrance, but during the colder months, I turn to this one. Uh, this fragrance actually made one of my lists that I'll be releasing soon. I hate to let the cat out of the bag, but it will be on a fragrance list that I want to wear this more. I really, really enjoy it. I wore it last week. Again, it reminded me of how good this really is. But again, it lasts all day long on my skin. Nine to 10 hours of performance out of this one. From the house of Prada, this is Prada Alone Intense. The next fragrance on the list is a Amazing Francis Kirk John fragrance. This is Ooh Satin Mood. Um, I talked about this one on one of my more recent videos. Uh, it's not a pungent ooh, but it's kind of sweet. A sweet, spicy, kind of woody. But it does, it does, you do smell the ooh in it, but it's just again, it's not like an overpowering ooh. There's some other notes in it is what I'm saying that really are major players as well. But at the end of the day, it's a great performing fragrance again. You know the theme, other fragrances of today, this thing performs at that nine to 10 hour mark on my skin and I love this stuff. From the house of Amazing Francis Kirk John, this is Oud Satin Mood. The last fragrance on the list is from the house of Tom Ford. This is from one of the private blend fragrances. This is Tobacco Vanille. Um, this is one of those fragrances, it's very iconic. Uh, it's, it's, it's sweet and of course it has the vanilla and the tobacco, but it has some other spices in it as well. This is a great one. I get 10 plus hours out of this fragrance and I absolutely love it. All you need is two sprays of tobacco vanilla and you are good to go. I think this is one of the older formulations of it. Uh, from what I hear, the uh, newer formulations are perform pretty good as well, but this one again, I get 10 plus hours of performance out of this. Absolutely love this stuff when it gets cold outside from the house of Tom Ford. This is a classic, tobacco vanilla. Okay guys, that concludes my list for today. And I thank you so much for taking the time out to watch this video. As I always say, you guys could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're right here with me. And I sincerely appreciate that. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos out to somebody you think could use this information or that you feel will be entertained by the things that I have to say. And do that, guys, because, come on, I'm the bow tie fragrance guy. I love looking good, but I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.